Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Prime Minister. The Liberal government already has plans for $100,000 degrees. So, will the Prime Minister, will the Prime Minister roll out increasing the cost of going to university even more by applying a 15% GST to education? Member for Bass, member for Bass, and the member for Lyons will cease interjecting. The Prime Minister has the call. Mr. Speaker, the uh, the the honourable member, uh, member for wants, Rankin wants us to provide details about a policy we don't have, uh, and we've 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 I've, I think I've answered this as best I can several times. These rather rather uh, will of the wisp questions, but uh, I think uh, the the honourable member would be assisted by the treasurer responding on this occasion. The Treasurer has the call. Thank you. Thank you, Prime Minister. And thank you, Mr. Speaker. And, and it is right, we have we've heard a lot of questions, hypothetical questions about uh, policies the government doesn't have, but there are plenty of policies on the other side that they won't even explain, Mr. Speaker. The Leader of the Opposition, when he was a minister, uh, agreed with the Prime Minister without even knowing what she said, and now he wants to ask questions of us about policies we don't have, Mr. Speaker. Uh, he remains confused. But what we're not confused about, Mr. Speaker, is the sum $59.6 billion, Mr. Speaker, in expanded spending and commitments that those opposite. Uh, are out there with some $60 billion, some $3.6 billion in savings and revenue measures that they proposed when they were in government and they now oppose when they are in opposition. Savings and revenues measures that have been proposed by the government that they are now blocking. That's some $5.4 billion. Spending Labor says that they must restore from the savings that we have been able to achieve some $33.5 billion, a further $1.1 billion Treasurer, in budget savings that Labor says— seat. Treasury resume his seat. The member for Chefley will cease interjecting. That's his final warning. Leader of the House, the member for Sydney on a point of order. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The Minister the for of... Immigration will cease interjecting. The member for Sydney <laughs> no one will ever say that about you. The member for Sydney will come to her point of order. The member for Sydney will come to her point of order or she'll resume her seat. I'm waiting to hear your point of order. I, I... The point of order, Mr. Speaker, is on relevance. This is about a GST on education. Are you going to talk the about a GST member for or Sydney education? Will resume her seat. The treasurer has the call. The member for Dobell will cease interjecting. I, I know, I know, Mr. Speaker, that the member has problems with geography, but she obviously also has problems with policy. And the problem with what she's asked is there is no GST on education. There isn't. There isn't one. So you're you're off in fantasy land. Um, you're off in fantasy land. But what's not a fantasy, Mr. Speaker, is that they continue to frustrate the government and block Member savings, for Sydney will cease and they continue to say to the Australian people that they don't want to spend more than they say. But that's exactly what they are going to do, Mr. Speaker. Some $59.6 billion worth of commitments they have over and above what is in the budget and forward estimates of the government, and they have to pay for it. Five, sorry, $5.1 billion. That's it. $5.1 billion of savings and revenue measures to account for almost $60 billion worth of commitments. They are spending their savings and revenue 12 times over, Mr Speaker. They have learnt nothing while they are in opposition, nothing about their sins in government and the sort of fiscal mess they got themselves tied up in. They have the gall to come in here and ask questions about policies that don't even exist, Mr Speaker.